Yo, what is up guys, SK here, and today we're going to talk about the best free-to-play healer in-game. That was because she was just recently put in-game. Eva Shell is the only Harpist in-game. She is the Dark Harpist, and we just got her from the Monster Story, which if you did do that story to get her, then you're in luck because you just pulled up on the best healer ever for free. Um, I haven't done my Howl one for whatever reason. But um, Viva Shell is pretty easy to get. What you need to do is have the Fire Fairy at level 70 and level 10 Awakened. You need to have the um, the Wind Pixie at level 10, level 70, I mean, level 70, level 10 Awakened. You also need to have uh, the Wind Marshal Cat, I forgot where it's at in here, and the Water Howl. So Water Howl's first at level 70 and level 10 Awakened, and then the Wind Marshal Cat somewhere in here right no is that wrong no there it is okay i was like i know i had to use the wind marshal cat so yeah she's in here too so you're gonna have to have those four which are all free to play monsters if you're free to play primarily you'll have these monsters made to at least level 10 because they're super easy to get super easy to use um especially on the free to play front they are the best monsters to use for pushing through the game um now when it comes to Viva Shell, what makes her really good is her skill set. We're going to go ahead and take a look at that right now. But right now, you can see I don't have my heal set. I just want to show how she can heal and how she does heal. So Viva Shell currently, her heal is set up where it's her S2. And what her S2 does, plays a beautiful melody. Well, nope, sorry, S1. Sorry, it's her S1. Plays a beautiful melody, recover allies, target HP, and removes harmful effect on nearby allies. In addition, recovers the HP of nearby allies, excluding the target. So she's going to heal the main target 35% of the max HP. And then she's going to heal every other target or every other surrounding ally besides the target for 24.5% of their max HP. That does go all the way up. I don't have her Devil Mond up yet because I put all my Devil Monds into Anvil because I had Anvil first. Now I'm still going to build Viva Shards because another healer regardless. Let's go ahead and take a look at how her heal is. Let's see who's the lowest right now. Right now, my Orby is currently the lowest, so she should receive the highest amount of the heal. And so you saw Orby receive like a 24,000 heal right there. And then my ultimate kicked in, so that threw out more heals. Um, <laughs> that's, that wasn't part of the demonstration. I forgot that my ultimate um, auto was on. But yeah, that worked out too. Uh, so you got to see her ultimate heal as well. Her ultimate, um, uh, blah, blah, blah. Her ultimate heal in action as well. Now her second skill, what it does is it applies defense up. Uh, well, that's her passive. Plays a beautiful melody to apply defense up to nearby allies and attack down to creatures within the area. That's going to be a really good buff just because once you heal, you're going to have that extra defense. Um, you can stack the defense, of course, like always. Her passive, however, is uh, applies endure to the target and uses some, oh, song of switch destiny. I'll say the song of serene. Follow Switch Destiny, Fire Magician, or a team, team monster receives lethal damage from a boss. Now, let's see. What? It's going to ignore only lethal damage from a boss, so not regular monsters. She's going to be made for your bosses, um, for your dungeons, for your for your uh, raids. I, was, I, try to, I try to call it something else, just I don't know what. But the endure lasts 10 seconds on base, 14 seconds on max. Use Song Switch Destiny one time, and the cooldown, as you can see, is 180 seconds on max but it's 240 seconds on base so um you might want to go ahead and skill that up just so you can get that back even though you shouldn't really be last me in that um in a raid that long right now because i don't think any raid takes that long uh that i've currently been in i haven't been in the the uh the golem raid whatever the last one is the one on the far side of the uh the one that just came out um i haven't been in that one yet i'm still trying to finish off my naracas to get in there uh and the song of Swiss destiny what it does is plays the hope to recover hp from nearby ally three times excluding itself so it's, it's excluding viva shell on this one for whatever reason and applies attack up continues to play hard to recover hp of nearby allies for a certain time okay so this one doesn't recover for her but then this one recovers for everybody including her i'm guessing and then so the recovered um, amount for the base would be 14 percent and then the over the um the AOE heal would be seven percent, and then at max would be eighteen point eight percent, and then nine point four percent. But this is a continuous thing for three times at least. It looks like, and then attack up one for fourteen seconds at max, and ten seconds at base. 
and then her ultimate we just saw there um it gives a recovery uh and then it gives you defense up as well and then recovers more hp for nearby allies but for some reason it's always excluding her which is just weird to me um it's always excluding her but still makes sure her, still makes her a really good healer uh based off of her regular heal there like i said now once you get her from your monster store you can go ahead and place her in your summon altar in your altar's blessing so you can get more copies of her to get her um awaken 10 awaken 20 i mean awaken 20 awaken 10 awaken 12 and awaken 14 to 15 just so you can have her up there my 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 thing is looking kind of funky right now i thought i saved this i wanted to go ahead and switch over to that there we go so that should be saved now right yeah that's right because i just maxed out my um my light amazon uh but yeah that's pretty much it for viva shell viva shell is actually a really good unit I have to heal right here because I forgot I left my heals off. Um, we're going to heal again to get her to max. And then turn back on heals, actually, because we don't want to die in this place. Where we're too we're too good to die in this place, right? But yeah, that's Viva Shell. Um, that's my Viva Shell pretty much how to uh, play. Uh, how to play. My Viva Shell, what she does, and um, why you should use her, especially if you are a free to play player. Now... What she, what room she's on right now currently is just because um this is these are my anvil's rooms this is on energy energy focus uh the focus was for my anvil just so you can have that extra accuracy when using her skill too uh but it's still all hp percent hp percent hp percent so that's not really going to change i need to go ahead and upgrade these rooms because these rooms are actually terrible um <laughs> these are just the kind of the rooms i got when i was grinding quickly and i just threw them on even though the HP percent on some of these are actually pretty good when it comes to the substat. Um, huh. Might not have to get rid of these anytime soon, really, except for this one. This one has to go. Oh, no, 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 no. It could use defense percent stat. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Uh, let me know in the comments what monster you think I should work on next uh, for a how to use, what to, how to build, and what they do video. I don't know what to call that right now, actually. But thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.